Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the front bumper cover on a Honda Ridgeline. Start out by opening up your hood, and then we're going to remove this upper cover right here. And to do that, just pull up on it. And when you do that, it pops these clips loose from the uh, retainers there on the core support. So just keep pulling up and work your way around. And then just set this to the side. And then remove these four bumper clips right here. And these are just two piece clips. And all you have to do is pry up on the center portion and pop it out. And you can use a clip tool or a flathead. And I'll show you both ways. So we're going to start off with the clip tool. You see I just pop the middle portion up. And then once this middle portion is popped up, you can just pull out on the clip. I'm going to do this one now. And then if you're using a flathead screwdriver, you just want to pry up a little bit on one side and then go around to the other side and pry up a little bit more. And typically I'll pop the middle out. Same with this one. Just work your way back and forth. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this chrome strip here across the headlight and across the top of the bumper. And to do that, we're going to need a plastic pry tool. You can get sets of these pretty cheap off Amazon. And I'll put a link in the description below where you can get these. Um, so we're going to take the wide plastic pry tool from the set. And we're going to use the 90 degree portion here. And we're going to go up underneath the chrome. So starting on the end here, we're going to go between the chrome and the headlight. And you want to tuck it up underneath there and then pry out. So you're actually prying on the headlight and this is why you want to use something plastic because if you use something metal you're going to scratch your either your chrome or your headlight and so we're just going to work our way across the headlight here and then when you get to the grill you're going to come in through the top here between the chrome and the top of the grill here and just work it out. So pretty much the whole middle's loose, and so now we're back to the headlight. So I'm gonna start back here on the end. Same thing, use the 90. And we got the grill off here, or excuse me, the chrome. And these clips here are what holds it to the center grill portion and you can kind of see that white part right there. So sometimes, usually it'll stay on the chrome, um, but sometimes they will stay in the grill. So while you're taking it off, sometimes they'll be lodged in here in those holes there where they were originally um, placed. And other times, sometimes they'll, they will break, um, but these are replaceable. So you can buy new ones and then they just slip right back onto the chrome. Um, again, you can get these on Amazon. I'll put links for these also. Um, but usually you can get it off with maybe um, just one or two breaking or they just stay in the, stay in the grill. But typically they, they want to stay here on the chrome. And now there is four bolts we need to take out right here and right here and two more over here. And you want to use a 10 millimeter socket to get these out. And 
once you take that, now the grill is loose from the car. Next, come around to the side of the bumper here, and we're going to remove these three Phillips screws right here in the wheel well. And now we're going to use our plastic pry tools again. This time we're going to be using the skinny one uh, for this front portion here by the bumper cover. So there's two clips right here that hold this wheel well molding on and they are yellow. And what we got to do is got to get back in behind here and we're going to pry out on them. So I'm going to pull out just enough on this uh, wheel opening molding that I can get my pry tool between the wheel opening molding and the fender liner portion here. And I'm gonna pry it open and you can see I'm expo exposing that yellow clip right there. So I'm gonna get on the back side of that yellow clip and I'm pushing that clip that way away from the vehicle. And you heard it pop and now this molding, the uh, top portion here is loose. And so we're gonna go down here for this other clip and do the same thing. see the yellow clip just popped out there exposed a little bit right there on the bottom and then we are going to come up to the um, this is the bumper here this is the fender here we're going to use our wide plastic pry tool again there's one more clip here that we're going to pop loose just to give us a little bit more working room so just bring your <clears throat> your wide pry tool here in. use the 90 and pry out on it and that pops the clip right here loose from the uh, fender and the only thing that's still attached is this uh, wheel opening molding is attached here on the bottom of the bumper here sometimes this will just pull out um, if it's not latched in there real good other times it'll be kind of stuck and what's holding it in is this has like a little clip on the bottom here and if it's not wanting to just kind of pull straight out just take a real tiny flathead screwdriver and you'll see a little bit of a gap right here. You can fit your screwdriver in and you can get behind where this uh, wheel opening molding meets the lower portion of the bumper. And you want to kind of go in at a downward angle and then pry on the back side. Once I get it out here, I'll show you what we're actually prying on. So you're going to go in at a downward angle. Sorry, I should do the wrong gap. It's that right there. So we're gonna go in through right here, and we're gonna pry like that while pulling up on this molding. And and what we're actually doing is you can see this clip right there. That part latches into that hole. So we're just coming in behind here, and then we're pushing in on that right there. So we're just accessing it through right through this little gap right here and going in and prying on it. So we got that popped out. So we're gonna come around to the bumper here on the side underneath this wheel opening molding that we just took loose. And you, I mean, we could take the whole thing off, but we really don't have to. All we have to do is take this front kind of front portion off so that way we can get in behind here because there's two Phillips screws that hold the bumper on. So that's the reason we had to take this loose and it's also clipped in. So we're gonna take our Phillips screwdriver and take out both of these screws. And then you also want to remove this Phillips screw here down by the lower portion of the bumper. And then remove these two Phillips screws here on the uh, inside by the uh, wheel well here. And you can turn your wheel in to get access to these, or if you just have like a little stubby Phillips screwdriver, that'll work too.
And now we got to pop the bumper loose from the fender. And what's holding it on now is there is a plastic spacer underneath here that's uh, mounted to the fender. And the bumper just kind of slides over it and clips in along here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to pop it loose from that spacer. And again, we're going to use a, uh, the skinny plastic pry tool this time. And with one hand, put a little bit of pressure on the bumper, kind of pulling it out away from the vehicle. And then with this, we're going to come in this gap here between the fender and the bumper. And we're going to get our, our uh, pry tool in there. And we're going to work, work it out. And what we are prying on... is these little gaps in the bumper right here. That is where the spacer clips in. So we are taking our plastic pry tool and we're prying in right there and popping it loose from the spacer and just continue all the way up to the headlight. And then come by the headlight and where we have the bumper already loose and then where we meet the headlight there is another separate bracket that goes underneath the headlight that holds the bumper on and this part's a little bit tricky um, if you want to before you do this you can put some masking tape over the lip of the bumper here if you want to protect it um, but if you're real careful you'll be fine so what we're going to use is the wide plastic pry tool again and then i'm going to be using a really small flathead screwdriver and so we're going to want to pry down on the bumper a little bit, prying against the headlight to get some space, and you can see that little black thing right there, and then how the bumper kind of goes around it. So that black thing is part of that bracket underneath the headlight, and when we're trying to pull the bumper out, <clears throat> that black little tab there is keeping us from pulling the bumper out because the bumper is looped in there behind it. So what we're going to do is while prying down and putting a little pressure on it, we're going to get in by that black thing, we're going to put our screwdriver in there, and then just gently pry up on the back part of the bumper, which will release it from that tab and allow it to come forward. So we're gonna get underneath here. And once you're in there, I just give it a little twist. And that releases it. And then there's another one right there. You can see that one there. Same thing, we're just gonna work our way down. And every once in a while, just pull on the bumper a little bit to make sure that you're you're actually releasing it from there. So we got all those loose underneath. So we're gonna go around to the other side and do the same thing.
And one thing I forgot to mention on the other side is when you get down to the end of the headlight here by the grill, there's a clip that's different than these other ones. It goes on top of the bumper. And when you, uh, when you get to the end here, sometimes you have to pry up on the clip. It's back in right there. You gotta go underneath and then pry up on it. Um, and that'll release this corner here from the, uh, the bracket here below. Next, we're gonna crawl underneath the front bumper. And starting here on the passenger side, right here by this lower uh, lip that's on the front bumper, right here on the end is a bolt. And again, use a uh, 10 millimeter socket to remove that. And then right next to that is two bumper clips that need to come out. And so again, I'm gonna show you guys the flathead method. Um, so you just start on one side and just work your way around. These clips here on the bottom can get pretty grimy over time and they can break kind of easily. Um, but if you work your way around, you can usually get them out without breaking them. Uh, but if you do, again, it's not that big of a deal. These are also available on Amazon. And uh, I'll link to these in the description below also if you need replacements. Just take your time. Work your way around the clip. And pop the middle out. And then there's another bolt. And another clip. And then here in the middle, we have four bolts that need to come out. Again, 10 millimeter. And then just come around to each side and pull directly back on the bumper. And just be careful when you're taking it off because the, the lights are still plugged in. And so we got the bumper kind of laying on some cardboard here. I just gently laid it down and we're still plugged in right here and over there. And so you can see the wire going to this plug and underneath on the underside, there's a little tab. Just push in on the tab with your index finger and pull out on the plug. You can see there's the tab right there. And the side, we're gonna go around and do the same thing. Again, the tab is on the underside of it. Push it in and pull it out right there's the tab right there and that's it guys that's how you remove the front bumper cover thanks for watching